What's up guys, welcome to a new video and today we are gonna be taking a look at the new Z-Image AI generator. And before we start the video, just to give you a look, these are some images I have generated when playing with this model for the last few days. Keep in mind that those images were generated literally in seconds, while other models like Gwen or Won can take a few minutes. And I believe some of these images can be used for a fresh wave of AI influencers because all of the previous models like Flux or Seadream, they have these specific features to them and many people who do AI influencers can already recognize them. But this is giving them a new fresh start. So before I tell you how you can set it up, how to use the workflow, how to download the models, how to download the custom nodes and how to run it yourself and how to use my prompt generator made in Grok so you can generate not safe for work images. On our Discord in free resources, there is a link that goes to grok.com which, which is an AI generator, but it is not restricted. So it allows you to do sexual content. It allows you to do not safe for work images and stuff like that. If I were to post these things into Gemini or Claude, it would not generate anything because those models are heavily monitored. This model is uncensored as fuck and it is the best use for such prompts. And lastly, before the setup, what even is the reason why you should want to use Z image? Well, on their official website, you can read a few things, but the main thing is that it follows prompts very closely. It is super fast compared to other models and it can do extremely accurate texts on objects. So if you want to create a girl and put some texts on her t-shirt, you can do it using this model. There will be free versions of Z image, but for now we only have available Z image turbo. It is the least powerful model, but it still gives you very good results. So in my opinion, I believe when the base model comes out and the edit model comes out, it will be the state of the art model. It will be the best model. So that's why you should learn it to use today. So when those models comes out, you will be an expert. Okay, so let's get started. There are three things that we are going to be using. First of all is the prompt generator that you can find in the free resources. And second of all, and second of all is a workflow that I modified from this guy. And I also created a full installation script for all of the models all of the VAEs, all of the text encoders and stuff like that. So we can just install the custom missing nodes and it will work automatically. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be using RunPod because I have some extra credits here, but you can use anything you want. I'm not going to be using a network volume. I'm going to be using a completely fresh pod so I can show you how you can set it up. So first of all, I'm going to choose some GPU. If you want, you can choose a cheaper GPU because this is a small model and you will still able and you will still be able to generate in reasonable times. I believe this is a bit overkill for this model, but I don't want to wait for too long while doing this video. So I'm going to choose this GPU. And for the pod template, you are going to choose ConfUI Manager Permanent Disk Torch 2.4, this one. To see how much space do we have, it says 40 GB on the container disk and 120 on the volume disk. This should be more than enough and we can start. Now we are going to be waiting like 5 or 10 minutes until it loads. So when it loads, I will get back to you and we will get to the installation part. Okay, so after 16 minutes of grueling waiting and staring into my wall, our pod is already launched. So now you click on the pod, you open JupyterLab and you are here. Now you are going to go to Discord to Workflows and here you are going to download the JSON file, which is the actual workflow, but we will use that later. But for now you need to download this script. This script will install all of the models that you need. So you go back to JupyterLab, you open Terminal and you must make sure you are in the workspace folder, otherwise it will not work. See, we are in the workspace folder, that is perfect. Now you take the script and you just put it here in the workspace folder. And now you type bash download and if you press tab, it will autocomplete the entire name of the file. I have the one here because I have already downloaded it once. 
And now you just press enter. And now it will download the custom nodes that are not downloadable through ConfiUI and it will download all of the necessary models so you don't have to do anything manually, you don't have to go to Hugging Face, search Z image models, Z image VAE, this, this text encoder and blah, 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 blah. It will do everything automatically. So when it's done, you can just launch the ConfiUI, install the rest of the custom nodes and you are done and you can just use it. So now we are gonna wait a bit again and then I'll get back to you. And now when you see this message, it means that it has been loaded. So you are going to go back to run pod. You are going to open your pod and you are going to click on ConfUI. Now it loads the basic version with no workflow. And that's the reason why we downloaded the JSON file. Now we are going to use this file, the last one, the image Danrisi modified loaders JSON, which we are going to drag and drop into ConfUI. So now I'm going to do that. The workflow has been loaded, but there is one last custom missing node. So we are going to go to manager, install custom missing nodes. We are going to close this error and we are going to install those, those nodes. And then we are going to restart our ConfUI. So those have been installed. Now we click restart and that should be all. And now our ConfUI has restarted. So we are going to refresh the page. Hopefully it's going to work. See, now it's working. And now you see there are no missing nodes. Everything is working. So you can just press run to see that the basic prompt is working. And after we will be able to do the basic prompt, then I will show you the prompt generator. And as you can see, our image is loading. The workflow has 20 steps, so it takes a few seconds. The first generation, of course, takes the most amount of time because these base models have to load at first. And you see, we have our image generated. This is not an image that I want to use for my AI influencer. This is just a default prompt in this workflow. So now we are going to use Grok and we are going to use the good prompts. So now when you go to free resources and you open the prompt generator, you see that this opens. Let me see if I can make it smaller. Yes, I can. Perfect. And you see that you have some sample prompts that you can use. So we are going to use free prompts just from here, just to get some basic images. And I will show you them later. So this is the one use case of the Grok prompt generator. But for example, if your character is a gamer girl and you already and you already have a Z image trained Laura that you are using in this workflow, you can just type something like create another five images for a gamer girl that has black hair. Make sure those images are easy but safe for work. The reason we are not doing not safe for work is that we are on YouTube and I don't want to get banned. Okay, you can see that the prompts are generating. So we can just copy the first three prompts once again. Well, there is a slight problem. The images that have been generated are nude and we don't want that on YouTube. So now I'm going to tell him, make sure the girl is fully clothed and nothing not safe for work is visible. And we are going to use those prompts, okay? Okay, so now we can see that those safe for work prompts have been created. You see that this image right here is not safe for work, so I cannot show it on YouTube. But now we are going to use those three prompts and hopefully I will be able to show you the images. Many of you have been asking me for how to generate not safe for work. Well, I think this is the way because this model with Grog is generating not safe for work images even when I don't want to. Okay, now I'm going to actually cut the video a lot and just so, just show you the safe for work images because for the reason of Grog, I cannot show you all of the images at once. So this is an image we have generated. This is another safe for work image. And here we have an image as well. You see that not all of those pictures are actually perfect. And the reason for that is that we are using the turbo model, the small model. But once the base model comes out, the re the results are going to be so good that I believe that it will be the most used model. 
So yeah, that's it for today's video. Depending on your model or, or the, on the girl that you want to generate, you can just modify those prompts. You can, I don't know, tell him to generate a ginger girl. You can tell him to generate a fat girl. It doesn't really matter. And you can get a very good prompts and very good results. If you decide to train a Z image Laura, you can also get a super consistent character and training Z image Laura will probably be the topic of my next videos. Okay, see you soon. Bye.